Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. And I can't believe it, we're at the 10th episode already. Like, it's crazy how quick this park seems to have really come together. And in this episode, I'm going to be starting on the fourth different country uh, that's going to be represented here in my theme park. Along with that, I'm also going to be talking about the names and storylines that you guys have come up with uh, for the three different rides over in the Spanish themed area uh, so that's going to be coming up later in the episode um, but yes as you can see going straight in there and starting off with the construction of a rapids ride um, now this is actually going to form part of my Dutch themed area and um, yes it's all going to be based on the Netherlands so you can expect some really nice Dutch style buildings uh, that I'm going to be building uh, partially in this episode and then some in number 11 as well uh, but they're going to be inspired by some of my favorite buildings and architecture in Amsterdam. Um, along with that, of course, you can expect lots of tulips and fields full of flowers. Uh, along with that as well, a windmill's got to go in there at some point and uh, so much more. So, um, yeah, this one's for all you guys out there in the Netherlands. So, uh, yeah, let's start work on it. As you can see, I'm just rerouting the uh, monorail there um, just around the lift hill for the rapids. Um, like I said, when I first put the monorail in back towards the start of the series, I said, you know, the monorail doesn't have to stay with that exact uh, track layout. I can change it if I need to. And at this point, I thought, yeah, I do need to make a few edits just to uh, not make it too awkward to uh, uh, fit the trough in there for the uh, rapids ride. Uh, now, as you can see, we've started off at the station uh, with a little bit of a rapid section, um, but still on the ground before making its way round towards the lift hill there. Uh, and this is me just having a little mess around now to see what I can do with the drops. And Initially, I was thinking about doing a smaller drop um, where it just sort of curves round into it. And then I went with, along with the idea of doing this much larger drop. And as you can see, it's actually going to go under the path just there. Um, now, there is a reason why I've raised the path up. You might be thinking, that looks a bit strange. Well, of course, as with a lot of my projects, you know, you've got to wait until you see the end results or um, some of the later stages down the line to see how it looks when it's complete. Um, but yeah, this section here is going underneath um, that section of path. Um, as you can see and that will be a, a major splashdown element looking at the size of that drop absolutely huge one of the biggest drops there on a rapids in the world of course if this was real um, and it would be um, but yeah definitely be taking on um, of course Infinity Falls at SeaWorld and um, yeah the new rapids opening next year actually which is topping that at Silver Dollar City um, but yeah so this is coming together nicely got a turnaround section there that's as far um, sort of back as that's going to go where that turnaround is um, in terms of the size of this area and what other attractions we can uh, sort of see in it so there's not actually going to be a roller coaster um, in this area the standout attraction is this rapids ride uh, as you can see it's quite a large rapids um, so I thought you know what instead of, I, originally I was thinking about doing a junior coaster here as well uh, but then I thought about what I want to do next with the with the next country and I thought actually no let's have the main focus um, sort of on this um, on this rapids ride and, and the buildings around it. There's also going to be quite a few different flat rides put into this area. A couple of thrill flats, but mainly um, family flat rides just to sort of, um, you know, make this area what it is. So yeah, you can expect a large amount of attractions within what is actually quite a compact space. So as you can see, they're putting in a wider rapid section. So that's what you can do here with this um, in Planet Coaster. So you can have the wider rapid sections, of course, uh, they do exist in, in real life on rapids. You may they have two or three of those actually throughout the layout of course on this we've got two one at the bottom of the drop um, and then the second one just there before it makes its way round to the lift hill just doing a few edits there with the uh, station because I thought it doesn't actually fit as, as many boats there as I wanted it to um, so I thought yeah I'm just gonna make a few edits um, and have more of a gradual sort of decline there as you can see under the monorail track twisting around them corners and then making the way um, round towards the uh, lift hill as you'll see, I just keep zooming out every so often just to see how it looks from all different angles and from uh, down low, up high. You know me, I like to just look at things, how they look from uh, other areas. Uh, now, of course, I have left a big gap between the rapids and the China area um, because, like I said, I do plan at some point that is an expansion pad uh, where I'm most likely going to build this dark ride. Um, you know, I may change my mind on that in the future, but at the moment, you know, that is an expansion pad for, uh, for a dark ride to go in between the two with the Great Wall of China. 
China and sort of covering that up. So for now, from looking back from this Dutch area towards the China area, of course, you are going to see that huge B&M coaster. Um, you know me, I do like to try and make the sight lines as good as possible. So I'll be trying my best to put a lot of trees and stuff in. Um, but I've got to think as well, I can't really put too many hills in this either because, of course, the Netherlands is really flat. Um, you know, a lot of you living out there, of course, will know that already. But if you've never visited before, um, you know, maybe you're watching this in the UK or the States and you've never had the opportunity to go, um, then go. Because I absolutely love the Netherlands. It's a, it's a great country. It's actually one of my favorite countries I've ever been to. Um, but yeah, in terms of the land, it is very, very flat. Um, yeah, you've only got to like go on like Google Images or something and type in the Netherlands, um, you know, and, and look at like the landscaping. And you're going to see, you know, it, it's all very, very flat. Um, of course, that does, doesn't mean there isn't any hills. There is some hills out there, um, but there's not loads like you'd find, you know, in the States or uh, Germany, Switzerland, the UK. Um, so, yeah, it's sort of making sure that we keep to that realism with this. And, yeah, there's going to be a few hills in some places, mainly towards the left-hand side of the rapids layout there, where we've got the lift hill um, and, and a few rocks and stuff around there. Um, but, yeah, there's, it's not going to be packed full of um, full of hills at all, this, to fit with the area. Um, and, and, of course, the country that it's based on. In terms of the rapids ride then, um, get your suggestions coming in um, on this video of what you think the name should be for this. Uh, I can already give you a bit of an idea in terms of what it's going to look like by the end of this episode because you'll see uh, like the building style that I'm going for. Um, but yeah, I went to Amsterdam um, like last year. You know, I really enjoyed Amsterdam. Of course, you've got a lot of different waterways. We actually went on a boat tour um, all around Amsterdam and that's kind of what I'm basing this on. I mean, don't get me wrong, the whole area isn't supposed to look fully like a, an area of Amsterdam or anything. It's just the buildings and, and the waterways that that's sort of been inspired by Amsterdam. So, and the plan with the rest of the area, of course, we're going to get some of the tulip fields um, and also windmills in there as well. If there's any Dutch viewers watching, I'm sure there is, then comment down below with anything else that you think is maybe really iconic that um, I could put in. Like I said at near the start of the series, I'm not sort of putting in famous buildings in this, like I didn't do the House of Parliament, for example, um, you know, over in the British themed area uh, or anything like that. You know, I'm not going with that sort of idea of replicating other buildings. I want to do stuff a bit different. Um, but if there's anything else, what you think, you know, much like the tulip fields or windmills and stuff what the Netherlands is famous for, then let me know down in the video comments uh, before I continue building the uh, area. So in terms of a time scale on completing this, I'm expecting to have this area finished in the next episode, um, with there not being a large scale coaster for me to theme. And a lot of this is going to be more sort of um, pretty landscaping oh, oh, and, and some nice buildings. So of course the buildings are going to take time, um, but in general, um, not having a massive coaster to theme up, um, it is going to be a bit quicker to actually complete this area, so it should be finished by the end of episode 11. We've got some flat rides that have gone in just here. So, as you can see, we've put a pirate ship in there as well. Of course, um, the, the Netherlands is famous um, for like it, it, its boats, so I thought we'll put um, a pirate ship in there. We've got a nice um, swing ride, chair ride, because I thought, you know what? That'll sort of fit in with the whole like very pretty tulip fields um, sort of feel that we've got going on. We've got some sort of mystical uh, flat ride there uh, for the kids that I've just put in. And uh, also an octopus ride there as well. Again, it all sort of fits in with the whole water theme that we've got going on with this area. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm really pleased with how it's all coming together so far. Um, as you can see, I was debating there what to put in, like if the octopus would be the right choice or not. Um, but there you go. There is another little kids flat ride that I'm going to put in in just a second. Uh, and you see we've got a train station. So there's actually, it's quite a compact area. There's only the one main path running through it. Um, we've actually brought that path away from the, the lake as well here. I mean, I've got quite a lot of um, show viewing areas around the lake. Um, of course, it's going to be a huge firework nighttime show on there. Um, but yeah, you know, I wanted to make sure that I've brought the path in a little bit into this area to make it feel a bit more secluded if you like um, like you are walking around some of the streets of Amsterdam um, of course with it having the train station uh, the different flat rides and a rapids it's got a lot of attractions in here in fact it's got more attractions in here than any of the other areas so far um, you know and I do actually add another little uh, junior flat ride in shortly as well just off to the right of my uh, like mystical uh, flat ride that I've put in down there um, but it's certainly very exciting and again, in the next episode, you'll start to see all the buildings and stuff come together more. But you will get a bit of a preview in this episode on uh, how it's coming together. 
Uh, that will be the back of the area where the train station is and that of course can be an expansion pad either for uh, the Dutch themed area or uh, a future area that I'm going to build off to the right hand side of it. And there we go, we've got the little uh, twill ride um, there and of course the small ride just behind um, the other one there as well. So, you know, it, there's a lot of flat rides going on um, in this area. And of course, if you want to start getting your name suggestions in, uh, of course, get them coming in. You're already going to get a bit of an idea. You know what I'm going with with this area. So get your suggestions coming in um, on this video. Just, of course, state um, the, the, the ride that you want to be naming just so it doesn't get confusing down in the video comments. Um, just state, you know, like small kids flat ride with blue barrels or something on with, with blue water and, and, and brown barrels or something you know just make it clear you don't have to go with the exact ride name from planet coaster um, but just make it clear which ride exactly you are naming i tell you what when you zoom out and look at this park there's a lot going on now, isn't there? Four themed areas. Um, it's really coming together nicely now. Across 10 episodes, really feel like we've done a lot. I mean, I look back at the last big park I built, and that was the first park I ever did in Planet Coaster, Volcano Springs. And you look at where we was in episode 10 with that compared to where we are now, uh, you know, things are certainly progressing a lot quicker um, than one building per episode as it was when I first started. But the game was brand new, we were all just playing it, you know, it just been in the beta stages and we'd all just got used to it. And now we're three years on with Planet Coaster, it's crazy, Planet Zoo is already out. Um, I know a lot of people are asking me, Sean, um, are you still planning on doing a Planet Zoo series? Um, you know, I know I did say earlier in the year that I, I may look at it, and that still is the case, but at the moment I've just not got the time. I've got so much going on. Um, of course with Christmas coming up me and Charlotte have got a lot of plans and a lot of other friends as well um, so it's one of them things isn't it that um, you know of course if I had the time I would love to but it's all about I've got to make sure that of course have that right balance between YouTube and doing other things as well so of course with the festive season coming up um, it's something that I've not really got the time for however I'll still be releasing a new episode of Let's Play Planet Coaster uh, Globe Explorer every week here on our YouTube channel Right, as you can see, just uh, working on the buildings here now, and um, just making sure the clearance is fine there um, between the swing ride. We already have checked the clearance between the pirate ship and the swing ride just to make sure that that's okay. And these are the buildings that I was talking about that are going to be very much inspired by those of Amsterdam. Uh, and when you walk around there, I mean, you've got the waterways, of course, which is our rapids ride, um, and then we've got the uh, the buildings as well. So there's quite a few like famous buildings that have got a bit of a wonk to them. Um, um, yeah, they're a bit slanted, um, so to speak. So I'm looking at a bit of inspiration from those. Um, however, um, some of the buildings that are along that water stretch in Amsterdam, I've really took an interest to. So some of them are quite tall. Um, so yeah, the plan is to sort of add a lot of different windows in. Like these would be uh, residences that, of course, people where, where people would live, different houses and flats. Uh, in the game, there's going to be a restaurant and facilities um, inside here as well. Of course, I know a lot of people have commented and said, oh, you know, there's not that many facilities yet inside the park. That will all come later. Of course, the entrance streets, all of the United Kingdom, uh, that has got facilities built in. We've put a few um, over in the uh, different areas. However, you know, the China area, of course, there's a huge uh, lack of facilities at the moment that will come of course before we open the park um, and, and yeah that is going to be going into place so don't worry all that has been thought about um, with the design phase uh, but anyway I'm going to leave you in the next couple of minutes and um, whilst I uh, carry on with the buildings just here you'll start to see these come together and then I'm going to talk a bit about the Spanish area and the names and storylines uh, that I've picked that uh, you guys have all come up with and I must say there were so many excellent suggestions um, down in the video comments over the last few episodes so thank you to each and every one of you uh, that's come to with a theme, um, a story, uh, or of course um, an actual name um, for the rides that are built in the Spanish area. I'll uh, see you in a few minutes.
So as you've seen over the past few minutes, the buildings in the Dutch themed area are really starting to come together now and you get a bit of an idea for how this is going to look um, when of course all of the area is complete. And um, this is along the waterfront of course inspired by Amsterdam, that's why we've got the very tall buildings there with different coloured bricks like the orange, you've got the light brown, the dark brown um, all on there and of course um, with the one of the rivers is the actual rapids um, itself. So yeah I think it's coming together quite nicely actually and it gives you a bit of an idea on how the overall look of this area is going to be uh, when all the buildings and uh, landscaping is all complete. Um, anyway, whilst I'm carrying on with this, I'm going to talk about the names and themes that I've gone for um, for the Spanish themed area. Of course, I built that over the last few episodes. It all came together really nicely, but I needed some names. So a big thank you to everyone who made suggestions over the videos. Honestly, there were so many names, so many theme ideas. I've been through them all, um, shortlisted my favourites, and then sort of picked from there. Um, but of course, the big standout ride is the Mac Rides Double Launch Coaster. Um, so this needed a very impressive name with a big uh, storyline. So I've actually picked two ideas from two different um, YouTubers who commented on the video and put it all together as one because I thought this would work really well. So we're going for uh, Daniel Pullmutter's idea, um, who has gone for Alboroto, which is Spanish for Rampage. Um, I loved that, uh, and then I thought, well, Tiny Vids has come up with a brilliant storyline uh, with, with a bit of a name in there as well, which is Chaos at the Camillo Winery. So it'll all be explained with that in just a moment. So I thought, you know what, let's put Daniel's idea of Alboroto and then Tiny Vid's idea together. So it would be the full name of the ride would be Alboroto Chaos at the Camillo Winery. So I think it's got a really nice ring to it. And the storyline uh, by Tiny Vids is Fernandez Camelo is the owner of the Spanish winery after it was inherited to him from his father along with his home at the top of the hill. His business is struggling with supplying and inventory and he is getting very angry. In his worries and struggles, he demands that the wine has to be made faster, and because of this, less effort is put in. With everyone in stress, the factory is going crazy, and nobody can keep up anymore. The winery goes wild, and the workers are tired. Chaos has occurred, and the passengers get to ride through this thrilling experience. Oh, I love it. So thank you uh, to Daniel and Tiny Vids for coming up with that. Uh, brilliant idea, and uh, honestly, I love the, the storyline behind that. I think that works really well. As you can see, just adding some more details here onto the right hand side of the uh, building in the Dutch area. Uh, I think it's coming together really well actually so far. Some of my favourite buildings I've ever done actually in Planet Coaster. Uh, and as you can see down here at the bottom, I'm starting to put in the brick wall now um, that will sort of. We need to make this look more like a river than a rapids down here. So it's going to be putting some stones down at the side, um, sort of little hooks on the wall where boats and stuff could uh, like moor up to uh, and all of that. So you're going to see that over the next couple of minutes. Minutes. Let's continue with the names then uh, for the Spanish area. Um, continuing with the Hus Top Spin, and Amelia Bull has come up with this brilliant name of Flamenco. I just think that fits really well, more of a happy theme. Um, spin and flip in a crazy Spanish dance frenzy throughout the town. Um, so I just think that works really well, very happy. Um, yeah, just a really nice sort of theme to that. So thank you for that one. Uh, and finally, we've got YouTube user um, Havoc um, who's come up with this one. And it's the SNS Screaming Swing um, name. Um, we've gone for Soaring Sangria. I love it. Um, some of the local fishermen have found a box of ancient sangria in the river going through Zamora. They decided to try it because they were intrigued, but it was a magical sangria and it sent them flying through the air. Love it. So there we go. Thank you to all those names. Of course, Alboroto, Chaos at the Camillo Winery, Flamenco, and Soaring Sangria for the three different rides in the Spanish themed area. I love it. Thank you to all of you that have made your suggestions. And here we go. It's that time again. Get your suggestions coming in on this episode um, for the name um, for the Rapids ride that I've built here and also the different flat rides that will all form part of my area theme to the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, I think it's coming together really well. 
We've put this uh, barrier along the side now, uh, trying to make it look a bit more like, you know, you, you're high up above the river, um, so to speak, and you'll get some really nice views down towards the trough there, the rapids ride. Of course, at the moment, you can see the trough, it is very visible. Um, it's not going to be anywhere near as visible when all the uh, landscaping's in, of course. We're going to have a mix. I mean, this right-hand side of the area is more going to be, like like I say, inspired from Amsterdam. As we move through the area, um, it's going to turn more into like a, a Dutch garden with all the tulips and uh, a windmill and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, we're, we're trying to sort of capture two very important parts of the Netherlands into this area. And I think it'll come together uh, really nicely. Um, just putting the bricks in down at the uh, side there now. Um, it's, again, it's just giving you a bit of a feel for how it's all going to look when it's complete. Um, as you can see, we've got the large station area um, over to the right. In a moment, you'll see um, that I actually start to put some buildings on there as well. Um, I, I don't sort of put any details on them yet, like I have done the main waterfront building here. Uh, this was more just a bit of a tester, really, just to see how I could uh, do the rest of the buildings in the area. And uh, yeah, I really like what I've done with this. And of course, it, they are going to all look very similar to this um, with that style of windows. And uh, But yeah, I just think, you know, it's just coming together uh, how I wanted it to little uh, dock down there of course for boats and stuff obviously the rapids runs right next to it but we've got some barrels in there not nowhere near as many as the Spanish area don't worry I think we have plenty of barrels over there uh, they love crates and barrels don't they in Spain uh, apparently <laughs> uh, that's come together nicely and as you can see here it's just about making it all fit in a bit nicer with the trough so uh, what I'm actually gonna do is put some of the rocks over um, the side of the trough down at the bottom there just to make it all fit in uh, a little bit nicer and, and and fit with the area of course we don't want to go too many rocks in this area because like i said earlier in the episode the netherlands is known for being quite a flat country um in terms of the, the like the landscaping and, and it doesn't really have loads of hills of course there's hills but there's not like loads and loads so i just want to make sure that you know like with the spanish area for example we've got the huge mountain at the back we wouldn't be doing something like that in this area um because we want to try and keep it as realistic as possible and there you can see me just covering over the trough. That is the beauty of Planet Coaster compared to something like Roller Coaster Tycoon. You know, it's so much better when it comes to adding the details uh, and covering things over if you want to. And like, you just wouldn't be able to do stuff like that, you know, and it, and it looks a lot more realistic, a lot better. Of course, you know, with any river, you'd have some rocks and stuff at the side and things that have been washed up. And that's kind of what we've gone for down here putting in a few little flowers down there as well could be maybe a bit of like you know seaweed or something just down the side um, just ge generic bushes at the side of the river that are sort of growing into it uh, again just to fill that gap in nicely I just didn't want to leave a huge gap and then um, you know just look out of place so we're going to put some trees in on the hills over to the left now uh, in terms of the hills that's about all we're going to get really on that first section but I might be doing a few more round at the back um, towards the lift hill but that'll be about it like I say I want to sort of make sure we don't put anything too much in hill wise um, and here we go starting work now on the station building um, for the rapids ride of course quite a large station we've got going here still wish you could get like a turntable a rapids turntable in this game um, you know it would be a lot better of course there's quite a lot of rapids what do have this loading procedure like this but I just would have preferred to have built a turntable here really. I think it would have fit in really nicely I could have done a nice round building over it but yeah it's one of those and of course I could have you know I could have tried to make a turntable really you know and just stagger the station round but I just don't think it would have looked right you know if I was doing it properly I, you know I want a proper turntable in there but um, yeah with this building likewise with the other one that I've done it's not going to be a simple design there's going to be a lot of smaller buildings that's what it'll look like from the outside anyway a lot of smaller buildings that have sort of been put together and built up over time different styles of architecture different colours um, all just to make it on there the plans with this as well um, is to actually incorporate this building in into the nighttime show that's going to be held on the lake. This would probably house like the control tower um, at the top there. With it being a building very, very close to the lake, um, I think it'd be a perfect spot for like a control tower. A bit like in Epcot at Walt Disney World um, for their show control on the World Showcase Lagoon. Uh, they've got it in the Mexico Pavilion. So that's kind of what the tower is on the edge there. That would work as like a control tower. Um, and here we go, finally in this episode, just working on a little bit of landscaping to give you a bit of an idea of what we're going to do with tulips. So, of course, going to have some loads of tulip fields, lots of different patterns um, done throughout. Again, that's something what the Netherlands is really famous for. Um, you know, like when I first went to Holland, you know, you drive down the road, you see all the tulips 
tulips at the side. That's what I wanted to um, put in here. But of course, I don't want it to look too blank either. So it's uh, getting the right balance between rocks, tulips, and of course the buildings as well. But here's some screenshots to end the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching episode 10 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. Get your name sessions coming in. And um, yeah, we're going to talk uh, more about those and of course continue with the area in episode 11. Thanks for watching and that means it's time to cue those credits.